Hey everybody, this is Paul. Um, welcome to part two in uh, introduction to a heap data structure. So for this example, I'm going to be removing an item from a heap. So I've got a max heap here. And uh, once again, a max heap is a heap where all the parent nodes are greater than the children nodes. So you can see that's the case all the way down the list. Each parent is greater than its children. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is I'm going to remove the item from the root since that's the most commonly implemented method when we're removing an item from a heap. You could remove it anywhere if you really wanted to, but since uh, programs usually like to remove them from a top because uh, that's kind of how priority queues work, I'm going to show you that method. So let's say that we go ahead and remove the 40 from our root here. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is uh, we're just going to take that 40 and our program is just going to use it over there to do whatever it needs to. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we keep the right structure for our heap. We need to make sure it's full from top to bottom, left to right. And so to keep that property we need to take this node right here or this leaf and move it up to the root. So now that we've deleted that leaf or that node, depending on how you want to think about it, we uh, basically have the right structure for a heap, but now we do not have the right properties for our max heap. Now we have eight, which is less than 18, it's less than 20, and our root is supposed to be the biggest number. So in order to fix that, to make this back into a heap again, we basically look at the two children of the root here, and we compare the two and we figure out which one is the biggest. So it turns out 20 is bigger than 18. Now that we have that established, we compare 20 with the value 8, and if 20 is bigger than 8, then we simply switch the two numbers. The child is bigger than the parent, then we switch them. So we're just going to put 20 where 8 is, and 8 where 20 is. And so then we check once again. We check the two children of this guy right here, and so we're gonna compare 9 and 19. 19 is bigger. Then we check, is 19 less than 8? Nope, it's not. So we move 19 up to where 8 is. And we put 8 where 19 is. We just flip the two. And so now we have, once again, our max heap. So now if we wanted to remove another item from the root, then we're just going to pop off that 20. And our program will do whatever it needs to with that 20 over here. And so now we need to put something in the root location. So we simply just start right here with the three and move it up there. And the reason why we had to pull that three off is because we have to keep the right structure for our heap filled top to bottom, left to right. And uh, so the three moves up here. We compare the two children. 19 is greater than 18. So then we check is 19 bigger or less than three. 19 is bigger, so it moves up top and three moves down. And then we compare these two, nine is bigger than eight, so then we compare the bigger number nine with the value three, nine is bigger than three, so we flip the two. Whoops. And once again, we have our heap structure. So, like I said, if you wanted to remove an item somewhere else in the list, it would, or the tree, it would pretty much be a similar process, but usually when we're removing an item from a heap, we're always going to remove it from the root. So I went ahead and just showed you that way. And so anyway, hopefully uh, you guys understand how to remove an item from a heap now. So stay tuned for the next tutorial, and I will show you how to translate a heap into an array. So thanks for watching. You guys have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.